Code Green, a Family Matters Earth Day special, is made possible by the following partners. Providence Health System is proud to support our community's good health. From the nation's first gold award for environmental design in a hospital, to being honored as an Energy Star Partner for Excellence in Energy Management, Providence is helping you live a healthier life. In the world of earth-friendly paint, only one has the coveted green seal certificate for both interior and exterior. Horizon from Rada Paint. Good for the earth, good for you. No one ever said, I wish I hadn't gone to the gym today. We're in a time that we need to consciously preserve what's wonderful about this place. Nowadays, the forces acting are a lot more continuous and pervasive. Thinking about all the poisons that we're putting into the environment. We could end up landfilling tons of material. The hump really is thinking that organics are not effective. So people are trying to reduce their resource footprint. It's not an either or proposition. We all have a responsibility. People have to take that step. Stop. Think. What is the environmental impact of me consuming energy? Go Green, a Family Matters Earth Day special. I'm K2 Outdoor Reporter Grant McColby, and welcome to Go Green. You know, for years I've taken you to spectacular destinations that really showcase our wonderful scenic beauty across the Pacific Northwest. But now, reports of global warming and catastrophic predictions are threatening not just our wildlife, but our own health and safety. It's time to take a hard look at our impact on the planet and find ways to reduce the damage. So, where do we begin? Well, it all starts here in neighborhoods just like yours and the decisions that you make every day. In the next half hour, we're going to show you steps you can take and choices you can make to help ease the burden on our planet. The first thing we need to do is change the way we think, and we found some ideas to get the ball rolling. Hi, I'm Jen. I'm hosting an eco party. Come on, I'll show you what it's all about. It's an excuse to get some friends together. Have a little food. An eco party is an opportunity for a host to invite friends over and uh, to have an expert come in and give tips on how to make their homes more eco friendly. But you can put that in your compost bin uh, when you're done oh, you with that. Yeah, it just raises their consciousness about things they can do. If they're really finding out from from talking amongst this group of friends, having a great time doing it, and finding out, well, oh, you know, that's not really so different or so secretive or so hard. I and my volunteers try to help people know what are the most important things because you could you know you can make a list of 50 things that you could do to save energy what you can do is very simple you have an energy audit good morning hi i'm sean it seemed like a great opportunity to find out what am i getting into we come out and take a good solid look a visual inspection of all of the pre-existing condition uh, insulation levels what year is the furnace, hot water heater, anything that we can do that'll help you immediately while we're there. I mean, that's a real easy step. All you have to do is, you know, make a telephone call and you've got your appointment for an energy audit. For more information about eco parties and home energy reviews, go to the Family Matters section at katu.com. There you'll find a complete resource center for videos, links, and advice to help you go green. When we come back, we'll take an eye-opening trip to the garbage dump. Well, this is what comes from your house. This room fills up and we actually go to the next room. At Providence Health System, we're committed to providing the communities we serve throughout Oregon with compassionate, high quality care. We're also committed to environmental responsibility. At Providence Newburgh Medical Center, Oregon's newest hospital, we're proud to be one of the most environmentally friendly facilities. We're the first hospital in the nation to operate on 100% green power. 100% outdoor air fills the building through a unique ventilation system, creating a dramatically healthier indoor air quality. Our courtyards increase natural lighting inside the building, and all of our patient rooms have windows allowing natural light. All of our electrical needs are supplied by renewable energy. By doing this, we're offsetting the need for conventional power that would have sent more than 3 million pounds of carbon dioxide emissions into the atmosphere every year. We even offer special parking for employees who drive energy-efficient cars. I'm so proud to work for an organization that values the environment. 
Providence Newburgh is a wonderful place to work. You can see it and feel it when you watch our employees interact with our patients, and a lot of that has to do with our physical surroundings. We are truly blessed to have such an earth-friendly place to provide care and to continue the ministry of the Sisters of Providence that has served this community and others for more than 150 years. Providence Health System, helping you live a healthier life. You put it out every week, but have you ever really thought about what goes in your trash? In the Portland area alone, we put out over a million tons of trash, and most of it ends up in our landfills. Well, follow us, and we'll show you that much of that doesn't have to end up there. Well, this is what comes from your house. This room fills up, and we actually go to the next room. This is just the morning, though. I mean, it's just part of the region. This goes to Arlington, Oregon. It's a landfill up in Gillum County. We get 60 trucks a day, go down the gorge carrying this garbage. We could fill up the Rose Garden every three weeks with garbage that was produced in this region. About 43% of the household garbage is actually recyclable. It's either compostables or yard debris or newspapers, paper bags, tin cans, all that kind of stuff. So about almost half, you could cut this by 40%. How the heck do we know what percent of people's home uh, garbage could be recycled? Well, we have people like this who go through and look at it and take it, see what's in there and what could be recycled, what can't be recycled. Well, here's the problem, just like at home, if you take your garbage and you mix it up, it's got to become garbage. I see tin in there, I see metal in there, I see yard debris that could be composted. It's a money issue, I would say, too, because if you could take all that dirt and yard debris and compost it for free, take it to a composting facility for free, you take your, tin, your metal out and your glass and you could put that on the curb for free and recycle it, then you don't have much garbage left. But now we really have no choice. How do you go through there and pull it out? It's very difficult. So this is for whether you're a contractor, landscaper, or whether you're a homeowner. You pull this stuff out ahead of time, you save yourself money, and you save yourself time, you save the landfill. Have your, gar your recycling bins as easy to get to as your garbage can. I think that's a key thing. These are some things we picked out in two minutes that could be recycled. We have glass bottles, we have metal, we have plastic bottles, we have returnable bottles that are worth a nickel apiece and they're in here, uh, plus cardboard and newspaper. All this stuff could be out of your garbage, you could be saving money, you could be reducing your impact on the earth. One of the easiest ways to reduce the amount of waste that we send to the landfills is to improve our recycling habits. And these curbside bins play a major part in that, but knowing what you can or can't put into them is critically important. My name is Joe Colley and I'm the general manager at Far West Fibers. Uh, first I'm going to talk about some of the items that we take at our public recycling depots that aren't accepted in your curbside programs. We take hardback books, CD cases, jewel cases, VCR cases, tennis shoes, block styrofoam, plastic bags. In fact, a lot of people put them curbside and it causes a lot of problems for the processors like ourselves. People, you know, I think are understanding that the earth is a very, very precious commodity. Recycling is, 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 is an ethic, it's a value. I mean, people want to do the right thing to help uh, the earth and the environment. The important thing is for the customer to realize is that the driver no longer sees if something is contaminated. So it's very important that they do recycle properly. And if you're not recycling, make sure that you do recycle. This is our receiving room. It's about 400 tons a day, so there's, it's truck after truck after truck coming in here. So this is our typical residential curbside uh, commingled mix here. And if you just look over the pile from a distance, it looks pretty good, but when you get up to it, uh, there's some of those items that aren't supposed to be um, in the curbside mix. Mylar paper or plastic, not, a, not recyclable. 
block styrofoam. Here's a good example of somebody not preparing their recyclables correctly. Uh, it smells like garbage, unfortunately, and it's got a bunch of plastic bags, styrofoam, ribbons. So you got to prepare your material correctly. As you see, we have a lot of sorters up here. They're not here. They can't get everything out, and they certainly can't get out materials that aren't really supposed to be in there in the first place, like garbage and whatnot. So it, it really is important to keep the materials clean as possible and sorted properly. When people don't keep their glass on the side, it ends up uh, becoming garbage, essentially. If you mix it in with the paper, it's, there's a good chance it's gonna end up in the garbage. So you need to follow the instructions of your garbage hauler. Computers, they're a part of our everyday lives, but when you upgrade to the latest model, it's tough to find an earth-friendly place to get rid of the old one. Well, we found a group whose mission is to help you reuse and recycle your high-tech waste. It started out in a very small room and grew to a pretty large organization. We take donations of unusable computers and um, recycle what we can't use and reuse what we can. We take all the te anything that people want, we ask for a donation, but they're not obliged. And it goes through an evaluation process, which we decide if it can be reused or if it can't be reused. If it can't be reused, we take it back here to recycling and we recycle it. Either, it, if it goes into our local landfills, it can leach heavy metals into the, you know, into our groundwater. We want to make sure that Everything that can get reused gets reused, and anything that needs to be recycled gets recycled as, as environmentally responsibly as we can. So what about the hazardous materials that the depot won't take? For example, have you ever looked at the back of some of these household items you probably use in your own home? Turns out there's some pretty dangerous materials in a lot of this. Also turns out there's a little known place in our area that'll take the hazard off your hands. How are you doing today? Great. Metro takes a wide variety of materials. Probably the most common materials that we see are paints uh, and automotive products and then household cleaners. Well, it's, a, it's a shame to take all of that and throw it in a landfill if you can reuse it. Uh, every day we get anywhere from about 40 to 80 customers during the week, maybe even upwards of 125 on the weekends. And all these folks are bringing us all kinds of hazardous materials from their homes, things that they don't want to throw into the garbage because they know if they do, it'll head out to the landfill. And they bring everything from paints to pesticides to household cleaners. Uh, and we go ahead and sort it out into a number of different categories and package it uh, and get it ready for proper disposal. Um, we're very fortunate in the Portland metro area to have these facilities. There's no one uh, in the country, as far as I know, that is taking the variety of materials that we're able to accept. The numbers that are coming to my mind, I believe are only 3% of the households that take advantage of the hazardous waste facilities or the collection program as a whole uh, in a year's time. The only other option, I suppose, for uh, disposing of hazardous materials is through the garbage uh, or leaving them out around your yard and, and not doing anything with them. Stockpiling them around the house can pose a lot of uh, pollution issues right around your property. Uh, it can also uh, be a route of poisoning for kids and animals. Um, and for, depending on what the products are, it could even be a fire hazard if you're storing a lot of solvents and things like that. We have the opportunity to recycle many uh, products that you'll find around the house. Many of your solvents and uh, latex paints, things like that. Uh, batteries, all these things are actually very recyclable. And then if we do ultimately have to dispose of materials, we can do it in a more environmentally beneficial way. It's free disposal here. We'll take a variety of things. Uh, pretty much anything that you may look around the house and find that is chemical in nature, it's very likely that the facilities will be able to accept it. You can avoid stockpiling hazardous cleaning materials altogether by making your own out of everyday, natural ingredients. Go to the Family Matters section of KATU.com to find Metro's green cleaning recipes. Come back to Go Green for ways to make your everyday errands earth-friendly. At Rada Paint Company, we care a lot about what you do with our paint. Here are three easy ways for you to properly dispose of your leftover paint. 
If there's a small amount of paint left in the can, simply brush it onto some cardboard and wait for it to dry. Then dispose of both the cardboard and the can properly. If there's more paint in the can than you can paint out on cardboard, simply add paint hardener that's available at any Rada paint store and wait for it to set. Then dispose of the can with your regular garbage. If the paint is a solvent or oil-based paint, you will need to dispose of it according to the hazardous waste disposal practices in your area. If you live in the Portland metro area, that means taking it to one of Metro's hazardous waste facilities. For more information on proper handling of paint and recycling tips, go to the Family Matters section of KATU.com. Rada Paint, serving the Northwest for 75 years. Hi there, my name is Carl Graham and I'm the Natural Gardening and Toxics Reduction Specialist at Metro. You can actually save the earth quite literally by making a little bit of your own. Now, how do you make compost of your own? Well, you want to start with a compost bin. You can get this one at the Metro Paint Store. And you want to make sure that you chop the materials as you add them. The more you chop, the faster they break down. The next thing you want to remember is to mix brown materials with green materials. The next step after chopping and mixing the browns and greens is to actually mix the compost a little bit as you add it. Now after four to twelve months it's actually ready to harvest. This is the stuff and it's great for your garden and it's great for the earth. It's a typical morning at this local market where fruits and vegetables and meats are arriving from local farms and ranches that are just a few hours away. That's because our stores and even our schools have learned that going local isn't only better for our food, it's better for the environment. Buying locally and supporting local family farmers um, means, first of all, fresher, better tasting food. That's something very important to um, our community is uh, people being able to buy products that they know where they come from and healthy products. A lot of people eat lamb that comes from New Zealand, which is 7,000 miles away. Our lamb comes from the Umpqua Valley Lamb Cooperative, which is in Riddle, Oregon, 160 miles away. We're reducing our carbon footprint. Food that doesn't have to travel as far means less dependence on fossil fuels. When you can bring a product into the store and there's no travel time or very little travel time, they're allowed to keep the product uh, growing in its natural environment for a long period of time, so fruit will ripen extra. Uh, it's very fresh when it gets here. There's no refrigeration process or little. It comes into our store just basically picked that day. It's ironic because they're old methods of growing. This is taking us back to a point in time where we we're more in tune with nature. Most of the local farmers are using sustainable practices, which includes organic uh, type of uh, growing techniques and you're able to layer the highest quality of produce with the highest freshness level of produce and you can't get any better than that. Thanks Michael. You bet. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's very cool. What we're doing is building relationships um, with local producers and farmers. We're uh, hopefully educating students on the importance of using items locally. It helps support these local family farms. And if we don't support these local family farms, that means the farm that's just over here in Clackamas could wind up being a subdivision. If you can get uh, a grassroots efforts, bring in your local growers and bring in uh, green products, it just makes a statement. And I think you'll, you'll find when you try natural and organic products versus what you might find in conventional stores, you'll find that it's, it tastes better. By offering organic farmers an avenue to sell their goods and to show that the products are higher quality and better tasting, we are changing the way people grow. We're making it more profitable for people to grow organically, and that's what we want to do. Did you know that just one car can send roughly five metric tons of CO2 emissions into the atmosphere each year? Public transportation can help cut down on the amount of cars on the road, but sometimes we need to go where public transportation can't go. So we found an earth-friendly way to put you behind the wheel and take cars off the road all at the same time. The inspiration specifically behind Flex Car was that, that some folks in the Northwest had seen car sharing operations in Europe and realized that it could work here because of the kind of city that Portland is. Every car sharing vehicle takes 15 cars off the road so that that has a tremendous advantage in terms of saving of fossil fuels, 
uh, reduction of pollution. We have about 7,500 members in Portland and each one is issued a card. This is like a garage card with a chip in it. And when they make a reservation online, they can reserve this particular car at a certain time. And then if they're the member that has that reservation, they come and they place the card over a card reader on the windshield and the locks will pop open for them and the key is in the glove compartment, they just drive it away. So it really is something that works together with the other alternative forms of transportation so that when you really do need a car, you have one available. Green ideas are all around us, but sometimes you have to search them out, even everyday tasks like going to the dry cleaner. Did you know that there's a growing number of cleaners that are making the choice to go green? Most cleaners, probably about more than 99% use a chemical process called perchloroethylene, which is petroleum based. If you were to pour it onto this floor, within about 24 hours, you would have burned a hole into the concrete. Many studies have shown that clothes that are cleaned in perchloroethylene will actually off gas and that people will be breathing in these chemicals. These chemicals will be releasing into the air in their homes when they have their clothing cleaned that way. We use a solvent called uh, Green Earth. It is uh, an earth friendly solvent. It is made from silicone and H2O. So this is green earth, and this is not something I would do with perk. So it's very gentle, very safe for the clothes, and it is volatile, so it does evaporate, and this is what we use on your clothes. It's something that is uh, biodegradable, so it's not something that if you were to spill it, it's nothing that you would panic about or need to call hazmat to come and clean up. Green Earth just seemed to make the most sense for us. It's the safest for the clothing, it's the safest for the employees, the customer, and for the environment. Our customers don't need to worry about breathing in any kind of toxic fumes off of their clothing or having it around their children. People here are very concerned about the environment. They want to do what they can to reduce their footprint on the Earth. And so it's great to be able to provide them with just another area in their life where they can make environmentally friendly choices that they can really feel good about. For more information on alternatives to PERC, as well as more information about green earth dry cleaning options near you, you'll want to go to the Family Matters section at katu.com. Now, you'll want to stay with us because when we come back, we're going to show you ways to stock up on the elements. Ah, oh, I love it, love it. People are trying to reduce their resource footprint. Here at 24 Hour Fitness, we're the leader in making fitness a way of life for everyone. And we're also taking the lead to ensure that our facilities are better for the environment. Here at the Lance Armstrong Super Sport Club, we're taking the extra steps to ensure that we use earth-friendly products and practices. In our fitness centers, where we only use natural-based cleaning products. From the design of our building, utilizing natural light and depending less on electrical power to the floor of our workout facilities, which are made completely of recycled rubber. This particular room has energy conservation happening all day long. When it's not being used, the lights kick off. When somebody enters in, they come back on. And we've replaced the use of chlorine, both in our pool and jacuzzi, with salt water. Our mission is to make fitness a way of life for everyone. Here at 24 Hour Fitness, we're doing it in ways that are better for the health of our members and the Earth. It's spinning right now, that electricity meter just outside your house. But did you know that there's an old idea that's making a new comeback and it'll slow that meter down even more? Ah, oh, I love it, love it. People are trying to reduce their resource footprint and, and to live in a more sustainable way. It seems to be becoming increasingly uh, popular and people are becoming more aware. We really felt strongly about getting solar energy, um, both for electricity and to heat water. Hot water heating system will reduce the amount of energy somebody uses to heat the hot water by 50 to 70 percent throughout the course of the year. Well, I think you know, one of the issues, I think people do believe that there's not enough sunshine in Portland, for instance, to make solar electric or solar hot water heating work. And, and I think, you know, I'm here to tell you that that's not true. We are tracking our energy use, and so every day we go out and check how much energy we've uh, created, we've generated, and we have generated an awful lot. Solar power is a clean form of energy. It's going to last a long time, it saves on greenhouse gases. Uh, solar power, as we think of it for our homes, 
can add value to the homes. We're talking about benefits going into the next generation, you know, thinking about my grandkids could use the solar systems that I'm installing today. You've heard about the power of the sun, but what happens when the sky turns gray? Well, here's a creative way to put the rain to work for you. Here's an upside to a rainy day. This is our 55 gallon rain barrel and it takes water from our roof through this downspout and we then can use the water uh, to water our plants, irrigate our plants, our vegetables, or wash our car if we'd like. So I can add another hose, an extender to this or just use it as is and we can water our plants right here. The benefit of a rain barrel is that you are conserving water, you're keeping your stormwater on your property, and then you can reuse it. I feel like we are saving conserving water. We're using it on our property. We're holding it in a safe spot and then using it for later watering of our plants. To learn more about solar energy and rain harvesting, go to the Family Matters section at katu.com. No one ever said, I wish I hadn't gone to the gym today. It's the summer shape-up at 24-Hour Fitness. Pay just 99 bucks plus first and last month's dues and get access to more than 350 clubs. No long-term contract required. The $99 summer shape-up, only at 24-Hour Fitness. The Great Depression was hardly the ideal time to launch a business, but to Art Rada and Maury Braden, it was the perfect opportunity to start a paint company in Portland, Oregon, dedicated to making premium quality paint and providing superior customer service. Today, 75 years later, the Founder's Promise remains alive and well in the over 350 RADA employees who continue the passion for great products and service. RADA Paint. Since 1932, it's the finish that counts. 150 years ago, the Sisters of Providence arrived in the Northwest to care for local people's needs. Providence Health System has been here ever since, living out our mission to support this community's good health. We believe each person is created with dignity, and when they come to Providence, they receive respect and outstanding care, regardless of religion, ability to pay, or social situation. The people of Providence Health System bring to life our mission of compassionate service every day. I think most people wouldn't sit down at a table for dinner with their kids and their grandkids and eat so much of the food themselves that there wasn't enough for their kids and grandkids to eat. And that's the way our society as a whole is acting. We're consuming without thinking about leaving enough for future generations. That's what sustainability is all about. We've really only scratched the surface of things we can do to make our lives more earth friendly. For more information and ideas, go to the Family Matters section at katu.com. There you'll find a complete resource center for videos, links, and advice to help you go green. For Family Matters and KTU, I'm Grant McComey. Good night.